how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good mm, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. When the Spirit of God came upon the Lord Jesus Christ, when he was anointed with the Holy Ghost, he went about doing what? Doing, you can, all the speaking of tongues that do not translate to good deeds is a waste. It doesn't mean anything. You speak in tongues and do evil. You speak in tongues and you are taking vengeance. You speak in tongues and you have bitterness in your heart. It doesn't mean anything. Your speaking in tongues doesn't mean anything to God. You are anointed, but you are wicked. The anointing doesn't mean anything. If it must have meaning, there must be good deeds being done. When Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit, he went about doing good, among other things, healing them that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. If God is with you, you cannot but do what God wants to do. Let me tell you what it means. See, a lot of times we think, oh, God is with me, it means that now the, uh, Satan will run away. No way. Expect great temptation when God is with you. God was with Joseph, was he not? In Potiphar's home. But Potiphar's wife was there. God was with Joseph in the prison. God was with Joseph everywhere. Yet temptation came. So don't think that God being with you means the absence of temptation. No. God being with you means that you will be acting as God would act. Because God will be directing you to act as he would have acted. In the world... Nobody has seen God. In fact, nobody has seen Jesus. But by your actions, they can see Jesus. I've said, I've told the story before. It bears repetition of a, 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 a village in India. Many years, many years before, a, um, a missionary went to that village and just was compassionate and showed kindness to them in the village. And then, of course, when his time was over, he left. Decades after, many, many years after, the children in that village had become old men. Another missionary now came and was preaching Christ to them. You see, these old men were children when that other missionary came. Now, they are now old men. A missionary now comes to town. And was now preaching about Christ and the acts of Christ and the things that Christ did. One of the old men, who was a child when this missionary came, raised up his hand at the meeting. And he said, yes. He said, ah, I saw Jesus. He came to our village. He said, when? When I was small, he came. He said, what do you mean? He came. What was he referring to? That missionary. Children should see us today. And if they don't hear the gospel at all and they grow old, and somebody preaches, say, ah, I saw, I've seen Jesus. They say, when did you see him? You. When I, when I used to go to church, my pastor was a, well, my pastor, the man who was pastor, well, that was Jesus. In fact, there were many Jesuses in the church. The brother there was Jesus. That is how it should be. God wants us to manifest himself in this world. Nobody has seen God but they can see him through our hands, through our hearts, through our expressions, through our deeds.